everyone welcome back to our channel all about BI uh, this is going to be a video that we should have done it in the first um, set of videos this is nothing but creating Azure free subscription how do we create an Azure free subscription and how do we get to use the $200 that they are providing us and various FAQs related to the free subscription that's what we are going to see in this particular video so the first thing that we need to know about uh, free subscription is uh, the moment we create a free subscription we would be we would be provided with 200 dollar credit so uh, it's not going to be coming to your uh, bank account uh, rather it's going to sit in your azure account okay uh, with Azure, everything is a service. Whether you are going to um, upload files, use the storage space in Azure Blob or a data lake, or you are going to create a pipeline for ETL operations, or you are going to use uh, uh, Cosmos DB or Azure SQL Database, everything is provided as a service, but not for free, right? So, all the services that are being used have to be uh, paid, okay? So, these are all paid services, I would say. So for that only, uh, they are providing us $200 when we sign up for exploring the services and to get uh, used to, okay. So uh, this $200 credit is provided to you for a period of 30 days, okay. So when I say 30 days, up to 30 days, you can uh, freely use the services under $200. So for every service that you are going to use, whether you are going to create a data lake or you are going to upload some files or you are going to create a pipeline inside the pipeline data sets um, or link services. So everything incurs some cost. Okay. So uh, you, it's like you are going to use the service. You are going to uh, take the money from the free credit that you have got. Okay. After you have used up all the money that are that is given to you, or after 30 days time, trial period is over, what happens? Okay. That is what uh, our first question would be. But before going to the question, one more thing that I would need to uh, say you is apart from uh, 30 days time period, once you upgrade your subscription uh, to pay as you go, what is that pay as you go? That I will tell you now. As I say, the for the services that we are going to use, we are going to pay for it. Okay, Pay as you go means, uh, as and when you are going to use a service, pay then and there. That's what it means. Okay. So, uh, after the 30 day time trial period is over, you will be getting a mail saying your account is disabled because 30 day trial period is over or before 30 days also, if you have used up the $200 credit, you will be getting a mail saying your account is disabled for either uh, either of the reasons okay either $200 is used up before 30 days or 30 day time trial period is reached whichever is earlier okay mm, in that case you will be getting a mail so after you get that mail what we should be doing we should be upgrading our account to pay as you go account um, in the sense whenever you are going to create a pipeline create a data set you, you will be seeing some cost associated with it at the end of the month you will have to pay uh, microsoft back okay so that is what we call pay as you go uh, but after 30 day trial period is over and you have upgraded your account to pay as you go as well you get so many uh, famous services free for 12 months so uh, like uh, i'm going to use a virtual machine and i'm going to host my website there in the virtual machine in azure uh, whether in windows or in linux or i'm going to use uh, azure blob storage i'm going to use uh, 100 mb or 200 mb just um, uh, less than 1 GB or 1 TB I think so uh, certain services like this like a blob storage or virtual machine it is free for 12 months okay after 12 months only you are going to be paying for it up to certain level up to certain storage space or up to certain uh, um, number of instances so it differs with respect to virtual machine it's it's based on hours which with, res with respect to storage it's based on the storage space that you are going to use in gbs or tbs so for every uh, free service up to 12 months just make sure how much is free okay i'll be providing you the links related to free subscription uh, how to check the usage what are the free uh, services provided for 12 months everything that i will be providing in the video description itself so i request you to go through after the video was done okay all right so the first question that we will be getting is after 30 days is over free credit is all used up what i have to do either you can cancel your subscription or you can upgrade your subscription to pay as you go 
or you can simply leave it as such okay app if you don't cancel the subscription and you leave your uh, subscription as such what will happen nothing will happen microsoft will be deleting all your um, all the things that you have created out of uh, azure portal like uh, databases pipelines everything will be deleted automatically after 60 days or so okay so that is the first question that i wanted to answer you can either uh, upgrade your account or you can cancel your subscription in order to cancel your subscription go to azure portal click on subscriptions you will be seeing an option to cancel the subscription right out there okay so i'll just show it and uh, move away so when you click on subscription you will be seeing the list of subscription under your account and inside that subscription name you will be seeing a cancel option okay cancel subscription okay so that is with respect to first question and while we sign up we will be asked to provide the credit card details what credit card details your credit card number the expiry date the cvv your name on credit card everything about your credit card okay so you can ask what will happen if i provide my credit card details to microsoft uh, we will not be charged anything unnecessarily uh in case of any billing you will be intimated and you can keep on checking the usage as well uh the moment you sign up only 2 rupees in indian terms i am telling i'm not sure how it works in us uh maybe 1 dollar or something with respect to indian uh, currency right 2 rupees will be deducted from your account uh which will be credited again uh, back to your account in few days okay just for testing purpose they will be uh, deducting that amount from your credit card okay and no hidden charges as far as i know nothing uh, will be charged unnecessarily uh, from your credit card okay so after the 200 dollar uh, um, credit is used up whether they will be keep on charging me no you will be intimated to upgrade your account okay or your account will uh, become disabled automatically all right and third question is whether i can use azure data bricks uh, with the free trial subscription no you will not be able to create azure uh, workspace data bricks workspace with a free subscription account you will have to upgrade it, it to uh, pay as you go subscription okay this is at a high level so how do i create an account go to google um type as your free account you will be seeing lots of uh, urls click the first one it is so easy uh, only thing is you need a microsoft account for it so click on start free if you don't have a microsoft account uh, you have to create one using either of your uh, uh, personal ids uh, so i already created one so i'm just clicking on that and i'll be providing uh, my password here if you don't have you need to create microsoft account you need to provide password for you to proceed further okay and uh, once you have um, uh, logged on to microsoft account you will be having a page or form to provide personal details followed by that you will have to provide uh, card details okay i have already provided my personal details so what and all will be Uh, asked in personal details it's simple your first name last name the country you belong to your phone number the phone number is the primary thing that you will have to provide in the first section that's nothing but personal section you will be validated against the phone number in the sense you will be getting a code a verification code to the mobile number that you are going to provide in the section first okay first section personal uh, details section and uh, after you are done with the phone number verification and validation click on next you will be coming to this portion it's nothing but verification by card okay so what is the verification by card is you will be uh, seeing option to provide the details of the card so once i agree to the subscription agreement i can go to the next section the first section will be very simple that's why i am skipping it here mm, as i said just provide the basic details of your name the country you belong to what do you do the phone number everything you validate your phone number and you come right away to this particular section so uh, with respect to india we are uh, allowed to use either visa or mastercard i think american express was also uh, allowed i'm not sure under what instances but with respect to um, indian portal i'm just telling it's visa and mastercard um, only credit cards no debit cards are accepted so just provide the card name card hold card, card holder name card number expiry date cvv address city state uh, postal card everything the moment you give all these details you will be um, 
asked to validate your card as well. You will be getting an OTP. After the OTP is validated and uh, you click on sign up and all, right? You will either be getting a success message or a failure message. Failure message in the sense, a free account cannot be created like that. You might be seeing some message. So under what instances you will be seeing that message? One common error that you would be seeing while creating an Azure free account is uh, you are not allowed to uh, create a Azure account. You are not eligible for an Azure free trial subscription. There are various reasons for it. The primary reason uh, would be the details that you are providing are not correct. Either the name in the card or the address in the card, um, address in the sense the city or state details or uh, that card has already been used um, for another uh, subscription okay one card can only be used with one subscription so if it's already used for a, a different trial subscription you cannot use the same card okay so there are lots of reasons that uh, uh, are provided primary reasons would be wrong information provided in the form okay apart from that uh, the credit card information is uh, it should be correct and then you shouldn't be using the same microsoft account with same information for example i'm using a microsoft uh, account under that i'm trying a card that card shouldn't have been used with any other microsoft account so that is uh, one reason and uh, what they are telling in microsoft q a uh, pages rarely um, browser causes issue okay but um, as far as uh, my case is concerned i have tried with all available uh, browsers sometime uh, it throws error even if I provide fresh credit card information as well. But for that, uh, we need not stop there. We can always reach out to Microsoft um, support by raising a ticket. They will be helping us to fix the issue in case you have a proper details uh, and you are going to use the credit card for the first time in the Microsoft account. Okay. So that is all with respect to uh, the details and what are the free services available for uh, in the first 30 days after 30 days and how can I check my usage everything I am going to uh, show I am going to share in the description URL okay uh, kindly check it out if you have any other question apart from what I am going to share in the description section I request you to reach out in the comment section okay uh, let me know your questions I will uh, try to answer then and there possible thanks a lot for watching uh, my videos uh, so sorry for uh, um, putting this video so late um, I, I just got uh, to know that many people are looking for it so I just wanted to uh, prepare it so let me know in case you have any questions thanks a lot uh, to all the supporters and viewers